Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on AMI Rack AUV3. In this video I'd like to show you how you can create a full polyphonic voices FM uh, synth using the MIDI 4 input. So let's click on the plus sign and add an audio channel. Let's configure that audio channel to have a MI Rack, like so. Perfect. Now let's click on my rack, let's connect it to the AUM keyboard and let's double click on the header to maximize the window. Let's click on the plus sign, let's go to audio MIDI and bring in the MIDI 4. Now the MIDI 4 plugin allows you to receive from the AU3 host through all channels, four different notes, one to four, and for each note you can receive CV sig uh, signals, gate signal, velocity signal, after touch sig uh, signal. Let's click on the plus sign now, let's go to tags, let's scroll right to the bottom, let's go to synth voice, let's bring in the FM operator. So let's configure this first. Let's click on um, envelope to have the envelope um, affecting the level and uh, the volume. So I can have my ADSR here, attack decay and uh, sustain the release working. Let's also configure to have more decay and let's remove all the uh, sustain like so then uh, let's enable the envelope also on the feedback and then let's increase a little bit the feedback to give it a bit of character like so now let's duplicate this fm operator four times so double click on it manage duplicate double click manage duplicate double click manage duplicate now as i have four different voices i need a mixer so click on the plus sign Let's go to the uh, mixer category and let's bring in a mix for uh, plugin. Now let's connect the output of each F FM operator to the input of the mixer, like so, for the second, the third, and the fourth. Perfect. Now let's connect the left uh, input, sorry, the left and the right output of the mixer to the audio output so that we can hear sound. Now you don't hear anything because uh, um, we have ADSR in uh, the ADSR envelope applied to the level for each DFM operator. Again, if I click on the cable, you don't hear anything because we don't we have not connected the MIDI for. So let's connect the CV to the V octave so that we receive control voltage signal directly to our voltage octave input for each DFM operator. Let's connect the gate as well like so for each of um, the um, four notes and now we should be able to hear um, a sound from the keyboard and also polyphonic up to four notes because we have four operators now of course you can have uh, lots of fun uh, like so so for example let's click on the plus sign again on MIDI and let's have a MIDI processor so for example let's bring up uh, step pad like so okay let's maximize the window let's select the scale for example uh, minor then uh, let's uh, select that it will play chord and then let's uh, uh, run randomly pick up some chord um, and let's click play actually i need to connect step pad so let's click in here on the left there my rack and connect step pad okay and let's click play <laughs> Now the rate is too fast, so let's change the rate for all of them to a quarter. Oops. Perfect, let's lower an octave now. Next, let's increase the uh, gate because it's half percent. So 0 0.7.4, 75% of the duration. Perfect. Now, if you have want to have even more fun, let's go back to MI Rack and let's connect uh, the velocity input from MIDI to the level of each of the channel, like so. Uh, okay, this is for the fourth one. So in this case, we can control the velocity directly from MI Rack. So let's go back in MI Rack and let's click on velocity. And now let's do something where uh, the volume is going to go slowly up with something like this and then it's coming down okay let's click play
-hmm. And as you can hear, now you can control the, veloc the velocity directly from MRAC. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And now you know how to create a full voice uh, polyphonic synth using the FM operator. Of course, you don't need to use the FM operator. You can use also another uh, type of oscillator or create your own patch and then multiply that by four. Uh, see you next time. Bye.